The main square in La Paz has been transformed into makeshift accommodations for Bolivia's disabled citizens. After a marathon 390 kilometers journey from the city of Cochabamba, members of the disabled community received a hero's welcome when they arrived here on Monday. They spent 35 days on the road to demand a monthly support of 500 Bolivianos or $72 from the government. Help us, Mr. President. 72 Bolivianos in our local currency. That's all we need every month to care for ourselves. Also, I have my grandchildren and children to take care of. The activists made the long journey through the Andes to La Paz in their wheelchairs or on their crutches. Along the way, they were joined by family members and supporters. Felix is one of those who made part of the trip. 26 years ago, he was born with severe brain damage. His mother says she has to take care of his needs all by herself and fears for his future. My son has not been able to learn, to read, to write. He has not achieved anything. He depends on me. When I am not here, where is he going to go? The state says almost $1 million is allocated to the disabled community every year. Half goes to special projects and the rest is paid out in annual stipends of $144. But campaigners say they need more. We have many needs. Many of my disabled friends are sick. It's very serious. They need diapers, catheters and creams. Every month they spend $29 just on creams. Hundreds of disabled people are now camped out in tents all over La Paz. Even though senior government ministers have offered to meet, they say they will only talk directly to President David Morales. And they're prepared to stay here until the president agrees to a face-to-face -face meeting. Dimitri O'Donnell, Telesur, La Paz.